Go on the offensive. How many times have I had to say this to all of you? When you're in this kind of position, you don't just go and oh, let's battle plan, baby! Because this is how this stuff happens. He's using the good old ISP defensive tactic. What do you mean the good old ISP? I'm one of the best defensive players on Hoy. I'm kind of trumping my own horn there. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's me, your Ramily Family Damala, Alex the Rambler. Today, we're back on Hearts of Iron 4. But we're doing a disaster save, but it's a modded one. The very first modded disaster. So I'm going to try and do modded, modded, modded saves occasionally now. Keep it interesting. Uh, we're on the Great Kerfuffle mod. It's the World War One mod. Th well, that I just... What's the point in saying kerfuffle? For Hearts of Iron 4. <laughs> so what we have today is a save game sent in from a uh, fellow called Harrison. Uh, I started in 1911 and built a big military of 120 divisions, but I forgot to build su supply hubs on the Eastern Front because this was my first time playing the new update and did not understand the new supply system. Uh-oh. So my troops don't have supply. The Eastern Front has gone bogged down, the Front with Serbia has bogged down, there's a naval invasion on the coast and the French are snaking really hard. They are spreading like a plague behind my lines. Please help. Well, Harrison, let's see what we can do for you, sir. Oh, it's 1914, so the war's pretty much over. Uh, this would be hilarious if this is like a 10 minute save. Um, yeah. It's gross. I don't know how... I... Mm, I don't really know how the supply works on the World War One mod, so this is going to be a tricky dicky. Where's the German army? Apparently they have 104 divisions and have only taken... What? How do these casualties make sense in... Oh, it's the start of the war. Oh, we're only in 1914. Um, I don't actually know where to start here. That's a good start. <laughs> Just bring in all the allies you can. Not that that's going to help much, I don't think. Um, in terms of supply. Awesome. Uh, so what you want to do here. Actually, where did you say the naval invasion was coming in from? So far, I don't see a naval invasion. Uh, we also need to stop battle planning. You don't need that many troops to try and battle. I mean, you were even failing to kind of battle plan into down here, right? We've already lost Vienna. I'm going to have to try and send some divisions back here. Uh, let's see what kind of division templates we've got going on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So you've, you've... Okay. So basic. Basic ones. Basic. You've got basic divisions. Research, I imagine, is all fairly standard. You're telling me you didn't bother getting the Gustav. Oh, wait, that's 21 years ahead of time. You can't get it. <laughs> ah, okay, so we can... Oh, okay, yep, yep. All the research looks absolutely fine. So you just got royally screwed, pro mainly by Germany. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, we're gonna. I'm going to divert 24 troops to go up, like, here, just so they can potentially um, cut off the French. And we're going to do, like, a pincer movement take back up most of our territory and then try and live oh, it, oh we have loads of political power war economy manpower will, will never be a problem okay so how many divisions do the french have see the uk doesn't have that many divisions the french have a lot the russian empire also has a lot see all we really need to do is try and cut them off somewhere which i think is a possibility but we can take back vienna this one's already encircled this dude uh, we're just going to try and... We're probably going to get forced back. Oh, they are just going through my territory like it's nothing. So we want to get some heavy howitzers. Oh, that's not good. I didn't want to be at war with them. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a pain in the arras to fix. Hey, look. Take Vienna. Take Vienna. Take Vienna. Take Vienna. Boop. Nice. Can we take back Bruno? I know it's not uh, Bruno, but... I hope. Germans are encircled in Alsace. No, they're not. Yes, they are. I can't believe this actually happened. Like, what was... What? 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 I am... Uh, confusion. I am confusion, Alex the Rambler 2022. Alex the Rambler 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016. <laughs> okay, we've encircled one Frenchie. And now, Mr. France, you will die. Uh, so this is just going to be a lot of micro-intensive stuff. Hopefully Germany can... I just feel like this is a mess. I feel like this save was made for me to lose. What? Why are we building supply hubs now? 
That's not really how it works, is it? Yeah, just building a supply hub up here isn't going to change anything, right? Uh, it might do. Look at this massive French encirclement. The strike back begins. You will die. The Ottoman Empire wasn't even in the bloody war. Oh my goodness. I need Germany to have more divisions. Like, where, where are their divisions? This is pure chaos, isn't it? This is pure unbridled chaos. I think we can do okay. This this division still isn't dead. I do want to know what what went on. At least they're deploying a few more divisions. But, I mean, look at this. Yep, they're all encircled down here. Um, this is not looking good. Did they actually just take a couple of ports? How? Oh, now they want to join. Alright. So at least we have the Ottomans to help. This. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. The Ottoman Empire is here to save us. And maybe Romania? Maybe Romania? Are they honouring the pact? They are! <gasps> da, 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 da. You will not accept. Oh, for pity's sake, Ferdinand. Now's the time to strike. While well, they have literally no units on your border. Why are you like this? Don't worry, though. We now have Hejaz. Yay. Oh, they're actually taking territory. Huh. Well, I was not expecting that. Why do, why, why do people not have any divisions? This is what I'm really confused on. 18 divisions. Wait, they left. The, they left. They joined and then they left. We've got a surplus of 20k infantry equipment. Okay. Can I even produce howitzers at the moment? Siege artillery. Try 10 width infantry. Why do you say that? What's good about 10 width infantry in the Great War mod? I'm not disagreeing with you, by the way. I mean, I guess I could do that. It would be better to make 27 width. Why? The thing is, like, just because something's good in the base game doesn't mean it's going to be good in this mod. In uh, in this mod, kind of soft attack is is king. Um, but I will actually spam out a ton of these divisions just so we can actually get a load. So I'm going to get the the all of these units are going to go to ten. <laughs> uh, if Germany's still alive, I mean, they're going to go over to Germany. Jesus. How did I lose this? Oh my days. Germany, could I have some help anywhere, please? I also think it's ridiculous that units that are clearly encircled, they're still just hard. This is this is what frustrates me about the World War One mod. It's just like, I know it's meant to be trench warfare, but this is ridiculous. Okay, I think I might have to go make a tea. <laughs> this is just, it's just too much. Look at this. Where's the German army? This pocket still won't die. Look, so he has armoured car divisions as well. The Standpang wagons. Okay, I've never actually done armoured car divisions, so let's see if these are actually any good. Alex is doing armoured cars, there we go. Increase the size of the armoured car. I'm doing the meme. <laughs> they still won't die. They're encircled and they still won't die. This is what absolute BS this mod can be sometimes. Okay, how are the Ottomans doing? Not well anymore. Why are we at war with Oman? Oh man. No, Germany. I'm sorry. I thought I actually saw Ger- Shouldn't they be... Here? Please hurry up and train. Oh my gosh. So nine divisions. The Russians are landing nine divisions. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, off. Go on the offensive. Okay, we've had the uh, idiotic comment uh, so far of the day. How many times have I had to say this to all of you? When you're in this kind of position, you don't just go and oh, let's battle plan, baby, because this is how this stuff happens. When you battle plan to absolute idiocy, he's using the good old ISP defensive tactic. What do you mean the good old ISP? I'm one of the best defensive players on Hoy. I'm kind of trumping my own horn there. <laughs> I've run out of generals. Okay, I'm redoing all of these lines. This is a this is a this is a mess that I am now just disenthused with. All right, let's see what this does to the situation. We've still got these French divisions encircled, so we'll just keep attacking them, because why the heck not? Okay, these Russians are just going to starve. We're taking some of Germany back for the Germans, so they're not utterly... Well, I mean, they're still kind of utterly dead. But I guess we're keeping the Russians at bay here. The Germans have got a Zeppelin campaign. Good! Let the Zeppelins... Oh, our little Snecker got encircled and is now going to die. Oh, well. This is going to be a long one. This is going to be a grind. You know how I said um, I don't really look at Navy much? I probably should have looked at the Navy. That's the pride of the Austro-Hungarian fleet that's been sunk. 
Oh, no, no, no. What do we have left? Oh, jeez. That's okay. I didn't need a navy anyway. The Germans have taken half a million casualties somehow. I don't really know how. Oh, we've encircled some Russians. Good job. But they're pumping in more. Could we push the Russians? I was hoping we might be able to, like, push up here and then encircle that front. Let's see if we can push back against the French as well. Even if we take a bu bunch of casualties, I mean, it's not really likely we're going to push at all, is it? Up here, it looks like we might have a chance of uh, pushing against the Russians a bit. But it's almost like this is a grind. Oh, wait. I can just speed it up. So it's not like anything else is going to be that fluid at the moment. Oh, we finished heavy artillery. So heavy artillery in this mod is usually king. So you want to build this over any kind of other stuff. We're still building supply depots. Uh, do you know what? Let's just move over to military factories. I think that's the... Whoa, 120%. Yeah, we need to get mili more military factories for the war effort. I'm actually tempted to go um, total mob and then switch to extensive. We've got our uh, armored car divisions. Not sure what they're going to be able to achieve, but we've got them. And I need a new general for them. <laughs> Are they taking attrition already? You have to be... Si no, come on. So once we have enough heavy artillery, you're going to bet your giddy aunt... That, oh, that's minus 5% division speed. No, I don't like that. Are armoured cars any good? The answer is no. They actually have aerial superiority. Are they just scout planes, aren't they? Oh, they have a... Oh, no, they actually have fighters. They actually have fighter craft. And I have scout planes. We are managing to push a little bit, I think, against the Russians. This is the biggest slog of a disaster save I think I have encountered in a very long time. Are the Japanese even here? Oh, good Christ. Canada's landed. Okay, well, we're dead. As soon as you get the Canadians in, you know you're just in for it, don't you? Or can we actually kill them? We might be able to kill the Canadians. Oh! No, keep going. No, don't walk away from them. Send the armoured... Send the armoured cars across the sea. Kill them. I can't believe we were betrayed by Romania. I know. I know. The Canadians are dead. How are they moving this quickly? Shush. Shush. I'm going to go make a tea. This is not going well. We have like half the factories we feckin' started with. Germany somehow... Oh. Okay, so, what are we doing? Somehow the Russians made a successful landing here. But let's get all those troops reassigned to go down there. Are they actually pushing me down here too? How? Okay, we need to stop all pushes. We just need to... Yeah, we're lacking 10k infantry equipment. We just need to hold. No more infantry pushes, no more pushing. No more doing nothing offensive. Just defense. The Fr Those French divisions are still alive. Like, in this situation, all you can do is just hope. Like, I have a plan for um, certain divisions, but obviously, like, I think we're at pretty insurmountable odds here. I'll keep trying. But you can see, like, in the Great War mod, even in circle divisions can still hold an insanely long time. How many divisions does France have now? How? I just don't get it. Like, the Ottoman Empire has already capitulated. Has the... AI had, like, buffs or something? I honestly don't know what happened here. Still haven't killed all of those encircled French. I think it may be time to call this, because I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't even know if this is worth a take two, because it's just, it's just gross. Are we cut off from Germany? We're nearly cut off from Germany. We've lost Vienna again. I'm surprised the peace deal hasn't kind of come up. Oh, they're almost dead. If I can actually finish that encirclement, I'll actually be pretty happy. Well, I won't. Yay. I don't often give up, but my plan to get these howitzers hasn't worked. Uh, we're being attacked on all sides once again. Let's see how long our troops actually hold here. Why do the Germans just have 11 random divisions here? Oh, the AI. The AI. It's so terrible. What is happening? Ah. Okay. I'm giving up. There. And I'm giving up here. We'll withdraw to these tiles. Like, Germany has given us so much, so many units down here. When, when I never asked for it, I would rather they have gone, like, up here, you know? Where it would have been prudent to hold. Instead, now all of my divisions up here are freaking trapped. Oh, they've actually pushed through down here. They're overrunning me everywhere. Uh, okay. This one, I hold my hands up. Didn't save it. 
This is not saved at all in the slightest. I even brought Kaiser Chonk up to try and give myself some, you know, Kaisery luck, but alas, not good enough. I am not trying this one again. Um, yeah, we're in a position here where we're just slowly getting forced back and our empire is slowly crumbling. Uh, the Germans are pretty much all but gone. Even my extra divisions couldn't save them. So this is where I'm going to leave this scenario. Maybe I might save the save game where it is. And then, if you wish, you can carry on from here at this point. And you can enjoy hell. Because <laughs> I'm out. So if you enjoyed this video, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, and I'll be back very soon. Ta-da! Many thanks to Maximilian Foreman, Chancellor64, Fiona, Hegu, Ian, Jack Trochu, Jiggly Crotch, Kim, Eric, Logan Whaley, Onion Duck, Turquoisom, Valhalla Halls, Vash, Wyatt Green, and Zachariah Mosby for being ridiculous ramp supporters on Patreon. Oh my gosh. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. Cheers!